I mean, I certainly don't need any more cars, but this is one I'm not even sure I want. Because I have struggles in my life. Nagging questions. It's an M3. Competition. Chop change. Lunch money. M3 competition, what is that? 150, whatever. Cheap, it's free. But because I'm the kind of person who has a constant quest for knowledge, because I'm not a dork like you people, I have to know the answers to everything. When I see something, if I see a puzzle, I cannot remain perplexed and I cannot just take my mind away from it and permanently distract myself with Pornhub like a loser. I need to know the answer all of the time, which is my secret for unlimited success and has propelled me to the absolute highest echelons of masculine achievement. And when I bought my RS7 ABT with 1,000 horsepower, it, made me, it reminded me of my M5 which Decaught have taken, which is 900 horsepower. And I was comparing how heavy the steering was, because the car feels a little bit heavy, even though it is an absolute animal. And then I thought, I wonder if an M3 feels a little bit light. Driving this RS7, it reminds me of my M5, obviously, but then it makes me wonder, like, what's, what's an M3 like? Like, steering-wise, like, what's the feel of an M3, you know? So the only way I could possibly find out is to buy an M3. So I bought this car because I was curious how the steering will feel. So now we're going to find out. If I bought it, why else would I buy it? I have 53 cars already. So... I know you nerds at home don't understand these problems, but when you're trying to compare RS7 ABT steering against your M5 steering. Then you wonder what M3 feels like. So you just have to buy one. I don't give a shit about any of these cars. I mean, I'm a Bugatti driver, but... It's just curiosity. There's not much in the world that's very interesting to a man like me anymore. I have it all, I've seen it all, I've done everything. You people are so fucking pathetic that you look forward to holidays. I've had people tell me what they would do if they had my money and influence, and all they're doing is explaining to me why they will never have my money or influence. Bro, if I was switch you, I'd just go, I'd go to Thailand. That's your ambition? Sand? The beach? That's all you want? You want to sit on the sand? If that can entertain you, there is absolutely no question in my mind as to why you're a fuck-up. Men like me, we search for problems and solutions, and our brain is inquisitive. And my inquisitive brain wants to understand how the M3 feels to steer. All because I bought the Audi RS7. And I only bought that because I wanted to compare it to my M5. And I only bought that because I wanted to compare it to my S3 AMG. It's the chain reaction. That's literally what happened. So, coffee, smoke, M3. Let's go. You should have a very inquisitive mind. Any of you men out there, if you had half a brain, would be sitting there thinking, why am I a fuck up? Why am I a loser? Why am I constantly outperformed by Andrew Tate? Well, obviously he's the top G, but do I ever stand a chance of even getting anywhere near him? Why does my girlfriend not like having sex with me? None of these things cross your mind. Should. Let's put my coffee down. There. Perfect. Alright, M mode, obviously. So does it feel as heavy as the RS7? We're gonna find out. Most of you would get a brand new M3 and it'd be the best day of your life. To me, it's actually a little bit inconvenient. Imagine that, the best day of your life, I consider an inconvenience. <laughs> You're like, yay, best day of my life. I'm like, oh fuck's sake, I forgot about that. Feels very similar to the M5 to be honest. It doesn't feel that different at all. Yeah. I think I still prefer the I think of all of them, the M5 is my favorite. Then it'll be the RS7 ABT. And then uh, probably the M3. Probably M3 is in last place. No, the M3. Then the S63 AMG is in fourth because that just feels so heavy. It feels like a boat. Maybe I need to buy the new C63 AMG to test that. Just to see what it feels like.
This is but, just going to sit on the driveway forever. Well, I don't want it. What the fuck? I've got Ferraris, bro. What the fuck am I going to drive an M3 for? What am I gay? Yeah, so. There we go. Car purchase. Two kilometers on the clock. Done. Don't want it anymore. Sorry, man. But now I've satisfied. But that's worth. That's worth 200 grand, whatever it was to me. That's worth it. Now I know. M5 is my favorite. RS7 ABT is my second favorite. This is my third favorite. And the S63 AMG is my fourth favorite. Now the question is, do I buy a C63 AMG, the new one, with the two liter engine, four cylinder, which is trash, but it's hybrid, and give it a chance, even though I'm sure I'm gonna be disappointed because I ain't gonna have a V8 like an AMG should. And do I spend all that money just to definitely put it in last place? Or do I just give up? But now I have a nagging question in my mind and I can find out for as little as 200 grand. 200 grand to me is like, I don't even know what that is to you, brokies. I can buy cars easier than you can buy Starbucks. I guarantee I could go into a car dealership and you can go into a Starbucks and you keep ordering coffees and I keep ordering cars. And I guarantee you run out on you first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it looks good. The M3 sounds good. You should probably do like a, what you should do, Bailey, you probably should do like a video or something around it and get some pictures of it and like make it cool because we've got to get some value out of it because I am never going to drive this car ever again. Let's actually work this out. Let's say you're the average man. Let's get a calculator. You're the average man, and you earn $10,000 a month, which is a lot of money. You're rich, right? The average man doesn't earn $10,000 a month. I don't know how much people get paid. I don't know. I'm rich. Okay, let's say the average man earns $5,000 a month, which is around three grand pounds, or three and a half pounds. I would honestly say about $4,000. Yeah, you're right. But we're, we're proper from the ghetto. Let's say $5,000, right? That is $166 a day. I earn roughly half a million a day, right? So a 200 grand car is around 40% of my income. So of my daily income. So it's like the average person, if the average person spent 60 quid, $60, the average guy went out and spent $60 on groceries, you wouldn't say he's crazy. You know, he's yeah, if he's so I spent $60 on a fucking M3.